Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Disney Lacey Challenge Generation 2, which is Toy Story Part 36. So I realized after I did the last part that, you know, we sent Peter over here to Marilyn's house and then we act didn't actually do anything with them. So, yeah, pretty much actually picking up where we left off to about like maybe an hour or two later. But, I mean, really it's still pretty much the same. Seri- <laughs> Fairy Godmother and Evan need to stop. This is their fourth child. Their fourth child, and they just had their third one. This is crazy. Oh my god. <laughs> um, but we also... We have... A new granddaughter, Rex and Patricia had their third child, and her name was originally Kay, uh, K-A-Y, but I have renamed her Hannah, uh, which is, and it's kind of a stretch as I've explained it before, but Hannah is Sid's sister from the first movie, so, yeah. Um... But yeah, we're just trying to become friends. Oh, let's pause. Um, just trying to become friends right now with Marilyn. We found out that she has a good sense of humor, which is good. Um, are you eating? Okay, good. I just heard something. What was just beeping? heard something beeping. I don't know if it was me, if it was something that's going on in my house. I don't know. Um, I wish I could see them a little better. I hate it when it gets dark like this. Uh, and there's Marilyn's father. There's Jeremy. That's a nice outfit. Not. Okay, um, and Mildred, which is Marilyn's mom, is dressed like the same way. It's a little weird. Or, or, like, the story that I'm going with for these guys, they're, they're simple, and those outfits are not simple. <laughs> Are we friends yet? There we go. Okay, we're gonna go home. Uh, we'll go back over to Ella. Um. Okay, we need to put Jesse down. Oh! Speaking of Jesse, I still, um, I'm actually pretty sure I'm just gonna leave my Jesse doll sitting on the desk. And I wish I'd thought of this earlier and I'd done this the whole generation. But we're going to, um, pull Jesse's string. We're gonna hear her phrase of the day and and I'm gonna put her back on her now new spot on my desk so here we go it's you it's you it's you you're here Woo -wee. well she's glad that you guys are here so I'm gonna try to remember to do that before the part ends okay just put Jessie down I'm gonna let you go take a shower and then we'll have Jessie come use the potty chair. So, last week, I believe it was last Saturday? Is it Saturday or is it Wednesday? I don't know. One of the parts last week. Um, I was just telling you guys about this Camaro that I really, really wanted. You know, it looked just like Bumblebee. It just needed the decals. I'm hoping we got it. If you can tell by the tone of my voice, we aren't getting the car, and it it makes me so sad. My dad's really, really tall, okay? Like, he is extremely tall, um, and if you ever saw me, I'm pretty tall, too. Um, but apparently the people who, like, own this car lot, they called him up, he's like, hey, um... This car is going to the auction house 
this weekend so technically it's like leaving either today or tomorrow if you are interested i recommend you come by now and you know we talk about this or there's this car's being sent away well my dad went and he couldn't even get into the car uh it hit him like the middle of his upper arm like up by his shoulder he couldn't even get his head in and i'm like well he and he came home and I'm like well, but but I'm the one who'd be driving it. I it, it, I'd be the one driving it. It it only matters if I fit, not not you. But sadly, we are not getting the the Camaro, and it makes me really sad. I was actually really depressed yesterday because he came. I got home from um my classes yesterday afternoon like right before lunchtime and my dad was already home and he's like I got some bad news for you and I thought he was gonna tell me something I don't really know what I was expecting but I didn't think it was gonna have anything to do with the car and he goes we can't get your Camaro I'm like what and I was honestly if you're not gonna get the car if we're not gonna get the car I was hoping it'd been bought to be honest not that we could have gotten it. My dad just didn't fit. <laughs> so now, and it puts me in a bad mood talking about it. But, you know, I told you guys about it a while ago. And so, you know, last week. So I thought I'd just update you on that and let you know that this will be the last time you'll be hearing the, of this car. At least I'm going to try not to talk about it anymore because it makes me so sad. And, it, like, for some of you, that might be weird that I'm that attached to, you know, just some car. But the thing is, I love cars. I, and I'm not, like, a car fanatic. If you tell me, you know, things that make up a car, I'm going to be like, um, okay, con congratulations. I, I don't really care. Um... But, you know, if there's, like, a car that I really, really like, then I become, you know, honest, I come, become kind of obsessed with it. And so, I get really attached to the idea of having it. And then that dream is ripped away from me. Okay. Okay. Stop. <laughs> Stop. Okay. Um, so, it looks like they're all getting ready for bed. Well, it doesn't look like they are getting they are getting I don't this is not making sense okay they're getting ready for bed and I will so I'll cut back and I will be back in just all right so I'm back but just for a second so I got the notification that Kevin is now the father of a new baby boy uh Trixie just gave birth to a baby boy named Woodrow gonna rename him but I thought since actually when I came over here she was she's still in labor so I thought we'd just go ahead and uh Watch and take a picture. I mean, why not? And Kevin just doesn't seem to care. <laughs> um, but we're gonna rename this their son. I was gonna say the son, their son. Um, and his name is simply going to be Al. Um, Al Miller. Um, from Al's Toy Barn. If you guys remember. Uh, in the second movie, uh, he's the one who was trying to collect Woody. Well, he had collected Woody for a period of time. Collected Jesse and, you know, the prospector, Bullseye, all of this old Woody stuff. And, yeah. So, his name is Al. <laughs> it's so simple. We got Kevin, Trixie, and Al. Uh, and then they actually have a dog as well named Roxy, I believe. Something like that. But yeah, I just, I thought, why not just go ahead and watch this and yeah, so I'm going to actually, I'm going to cut back. Alright, so I'm back. It is now morning time about, obviously, pretty well into the morning but I got a notification this morning um like maybe an hour or two ago same time it's Linky's birthday he's gonna become an old man today like 
crazy. And then Buster's, for some reason, is tomorrow. That's not what I meant. Uh, his is, for some reason, a day later. He's tomorrow. I don't know why. Um, but when Noah finishes eating, I want to trigger, just go ahead and trigger Slinky's age transition and catch it on video. What is that? Oh, it's, it's Peter upstairs. Watching the romance channel. Bro, what? I would never have pinned Peter for being a romance lover. These counters are so bright. I wish that they didn't do that. They're so bright. Uh, okay. We need to just go ahead and let Jessie out. She's really upset. Come on. Pick her up so she stops throwing an absolute temper tantrum. So today we're, uh, uh, we're babysitting my, um, cousin. Well, my mom is more like it. Uh, obviously, I'm up here in my room recording Sims. Um, he, my cousin, and my mom are downstairs. And my grandma was here earlier. And when I had gone downstairs, there's all this Toy Story stuff all over. There's like, um, there's, there's a Buzz Lightyear, Buzz Lightyear. there's, there's a, Woody. a Woody, um, um my brother, my brother have, like, have, like, Toy Story, Story Lego, Legos, that were down, down there, down there, it was, like, it was, like, crazy, crazy, um, um, but, but, I'm, like, I'm, like, well, well, this is kind this of, kind of, uh, ironic, like, that, that I was, I was upstairs just, just, just a couple minutes ago, ago. Um, 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 getting ready, ready to, to, to Record this, you know. Well, I will. I will. A couple minutes ago, in a couple minutes, I will be going upstairs to record Toy Story, the new Legacy Challenge, and it uh, was all out. So, okay, let's go ahead and trigger Slinky's H transition. Okay. Go here. Please, so we can catch this. It's kind of cute. <laughs> it's just like he, whoo, all he was that cute in real life. Okay, <laughs> record a hum video. Come on, hurry up, Noah. We're gonna miss it. We nearly missed it. Oh my god! He looks so old! He looks so old! Oh my god! I hate it when, you know, the aging is not kind to the pets in this game. <laughs> he looks so old! Oh, Slinky! Buddy! Oh my goodness. That is crazy. Okay. Slinky. Oh, that's not how you spell Slinky. Slinky. LRB day. And we will put this in there. Okay. So, Peter, you can go back to eating your pancakes on the overly bright um, countertop. And then Ella, oh, do you no longer need to clean house? Did you get everything? I guess she did. Um, we're gonna have Ella, it's the shower clean. Okay, she seems to have gotten it all. Go girl. Uh, we'll just have Ella come upstairs and continue painting, and we will let Noah. Oh, uh, well, actually, does Noah need to work on charisma? 
<sighs> he always has to work on charisma, it seems like. Always. He's always working on his charisma. Okay. Never mind that. We're going to teach Jesse to walk. I can't believe he's an old man. <laughs> and then Buster's tomorrow, and I actually have the feeling because Buster's fur is darker that aging is going to be even worse to him. Like, it's going to be even meaner, and he's going to have a lot more gray. Would you stop that? Please. Just stop. Okay. Oh no. He's dirty. Let's go. Hmm. And then praise for being friendly, and then brush. What you doing, Slink? He's just sitting there. Okay, we'll let him go eat, and then he can guard the house. Do we need to hang holiday house lights? Because they all have that wish. Do I already have holiday house lights up? Because I'm... I know myself too. I don't... I must have remembered to take them down. Or we... Have we gone through winter in this house yet? I honestly can't remember. <laughs> um... Okay. Let's see. Holiday house lights hanging. Ugh. There we go. Okay. Holiday house lights hanging. Should we just do boring old white? It's like no fun. Uh, purple. No. I'm so indecisive with these. Multicolored? Yeah, I don't mind that. Not yellow. Oh, I don't mind the blue either. The blue actually looks really nice. We'll go with the blue ones. Okay. There we go. All better. Um. Eh. Uh. Let's call Marilyn and see if she wants to come over. Oh. Um. Slinky's old now, so he eats out of the food bowl like this. <laughs> Looks like he's fallen asleep in the food bowl. Wrong way. Doesn't it? It looks like he's fallen asleep in the food bowl. Except, I mean, his eyes are open, but still. Like, his. He's, like, into it. What the heck is that? Oh, he left his TV on. I'm like, what am I hearing? I'm hearing, like, some kind of piano music. Okay. No. Oh. I shouldn't have had them do it in the kitchen. <laughs> uh. Okay. There we go. Just some cute little pictures. Okay. So now Buster's getting all clean. I'm hoping that that should make this grungy mood like go away. Oh. Do you see how Slinky is walking around? He looks like he knows he's in trouble or something. Because that's how my dog walks. Like, so... Only my oldest dog, Lucy, really understands when she's in trouble. Like, the others just, like, you know, they'll put their head down. But that's about as far as they go. Um. What? She's still... Oh, never mind. Okay. I just called Buster a she. Um. No. Um. So, my dog, my oldest dog, Lucy, she... When you tell her, bad girl, she will put her head down... And then, like, she'll slowly come over to you and she'll sit down right in front of you. 
And she's she sits there. She's like, I know I'm in trouble. You know, pop me on the nose or something. And we don't like hitting our dogs, but, like, if they do something that, like... Like, my dog... A couple, <laughs> this is a fun story. So, it was around Halloween time about two or three years ago. And... I had, um, like an iPad 3. I have this thing for getting my mom's old iPads. Um, it had been my mom's that she'd used for school, but then, like, uh, the school had upgraded her iPad, and they told teachers they could do whatever they wanted with the, with their old iPads, and so my mom gave it, her old one to me. And, um, I used to have a bunk bed. If you don't know, I, I had a bunk bed. I'm pretty sure I've mentioned it before. Um, there's my timer. I This past, like, January, I got... I went back to a normal bed. But anyways, I had... I had been sleeping on the lower bunk because on school mornings, it was so much easier to get up uh, when you're just on the lower bunk, at least for me. Like, I just found it so much easier to be able to crawl out of bed when I was on the lower bunk. Um... Okay, your phone is really annoying and it's distracting me. Um, there we go. So, I had put my I plugged my iPad in, and then I had put it on the ground, right? Because I didn't have any side tables because the only way I'd reach a side table is if I was down below, and even then, and then I had to like angle my arm through all like the bars and stuff that was supporting the top bunk. Who's barking now? Buster, shut up. Ah, uh, where's the where's one of the balls? There it is. Um So I just I would lay it on the ground, uh, like leaning against the wall. And one day I came home from school, because I wasn't allowed to take my iPad with me to school. Um and we didn't we weren't allowed to get on the Wi Fi anyways. If it wasn't an iPad like that was from school that was like school property we weren't allowed to have it so um we I came home I got on my I was getting ready to go on my iPad I hadn't noticed at first I just you know opened the iPad I was like talking to my dog and I suddenly looked down and that's when I realized that like the corner of the iPad case was chewed up and when I look at the actual iPad <laughs> it was all shattered up in the top corner it was the top left corner, and, um, like, if you're looking at an iPad, okay, it's, like, right next to the, uh, earplug jack, and there was, like, a piece of the screen missing. Now, that's, that was covered by the case, like, the case covered that, so, you know, as I, I continued to use it, but there was this huge crack going along the top of my screen and then an even bigger one going down towards the home button and this was my dog she had done that while I was sleeping like she just like chomped on it and busted it well years like I think it was a year or two later I had gone to get my hair cut and I would brought my iPad with me because my book was on the iPad and like the iPad didn't really break anymore like a few more pieces would come off if I really messed with the corner, but otherwise it was actually still in pretty good use. Well, my brother had gotten, like, really mad, and he was throwing anything and everything he could get his hands on, which, I mean, nothing that wasn't ours, like, if it was, he was, throw so he was throwing his toys, he was throwing a book that my mom had brought to read, he, and then he threw my iPad, and... It landed, and I didn't hear anything other than, you know, what I thought was just the case, like, smacking on the ground. Well, when I got home later, I went to open my iPad, and the whole screen is shattered. It's just toast. It's gone. I couldn't salvage it. And I was, like, oh, I was, like, flipping out. I was crying. I ran my finger along the screen, and I cut myself because there were all these little shards of the screen breaking off. And I'm, like, I was ready to go and murder him. I was so mad. He, my brother had 
broken my iPad and but he feels that it was my fault. I had I had I wasn't even in the room at the time when he threw it. I was getting my hair cut. I wasn't in de- like in the waiting room section of like where we get our hair cut. So how could it have been my fault if I wasn't even in the room? All I heard was a smack and I, and I called out what that was. Mom's like, "Oh, he th- he threw your iPad. It's okay." I guess she hadn't opened it to check. Yeah, so now I got started on that story, and now I need to shut up because, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I start talking, and stuff happens, so I'm going to end. The- I'm so sorry. My God. I'm going to end the part here. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Um, still, if you can think of any realistic names from the Toy Story franchise, preferably but going back to Cinderella generation if necessary, let me know. I need more names. I have one name left, and that is Sid. So let me know, and I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye, guys.